Wow, what a movie, Ryan. No, oh, thanks. I appreciate it, man. Uh, you know what? I, I go back to, like, Mousetrap, and, and this reminds me of a theatrical uh, kind of play. I, I hope yeah. there would be a way to bring this character in some way to the theatrical stage. I take that as a huge compliment, man. I'm, it should I'm, be. I'm a fan of, death, of, of, of Mousetrap, but also... Death Trap and Sleuth, which started as stage oh, yeah. plays, the notion of some of at some point doing like a mystery play, I think, could be really really fun. Yeah, and 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 your characters are vibrant. They're they're a lot of fun. I mean, from the first one to, to this one, you mm-hmm. haven't uh, you know sat back on the laurels and said, <laughs> you know, oh, I'll just do another one. You know. Yeah. Well, that I mean, to, to me, that goes back to Agatha Christie. That goes mm-hmm. back to my love of her books, which I think people sometimes have a perception she did the same thing over and over. If you know her books, you know the opposite is true. It's what you described. She really took a different swing every time and surprised you and shook it up. So trying to do that is kind of that, that's kind of what we're reaching for. You know? Well, and there's an intricacy that you have to have in a mystery that I don't think people realize how hard it is to write a mystery because I think you, you have to go backwards, don't you? I mean, do you have to think backwards on a mystery? You have to think backwards and forwards and up and down. <laughs> you have to kind of, <laughs> for me, I have to lay out the roadmap. I have to outline it and see everything. But I'll tell you, the hard part is not like the mystery part. The hard part is the same thing in any movie, which is making sure the audience actually has something that they care about in the film and, and that they're leaning forward, wondering what's going to happen next instead of leaning back, trying to solve it. You know, that, that's what we're going for. I read somewhere that you sold your soul to the devil for this cast. I did. Does it show how is it later? Yeah. But at the, also eternal youth. So, I mean, look <laughs> yeah. at this. I'm well, 95 years you old. That's aging and you're <laughs> uh, but wow, what a cast. Insane, I mean, yeah. uh, first of all, Daniel Craig is an international treasure. Yeah. Kate Hudson is an international treasure. Yeah. Everybody in this. We is, have a treasure chest of people. Yeah. yeah. I feel we got so lucky, man. And also genuinely good people who had like a great time working together. That's that's the thing with casting these movies. It's a little bit like throwing a dinner party. You want to make sure you invite people who are cool because you're all going to be in an ensemble together. Yeah. So And we got lucky again on this one. Throwing a dinner party for eight weeks. For eight weeks, yes, exactly. More than that, yeah. <laughs> the food in Greece is not... Bad. We got so spoiled being in Greece. Yeah, the degree, we still talk about the place that we were shooting. They would have this big thing of Greek yogurt with like honey every time. And it, we still like we'll sit around with the cast and go, oh that yogurt. <laughs> do, do you have a favorite scene or moment in the Glass Onion? I got so. I mean, I, it, I, I don't want to say I, when I say I have so many. It's because I love watching these actors <laughs> work, just watching them do their thing. I mean. Kate has so many moments in it that just crack me up. At the premiere last night, her mom, Goldie Hahn, was in the audience, and hearing Goldie's laugh behind me whenever <laughs> Kate would do something was just pure joy. <laughs> it was pretty amazing. I, I met Goldie on the set of Laugh-In. That's oh, my yeah, we God, for what? Yeah, well, yeah. you've yeah. sold your soul to the devil. So I like, did, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, was, I used to work for Gary Owens. And oh, Gary wow, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, yeah. and that's how we met. But uh, I'm, I'm thinking, wow, uh, so there is so much Goldie in Kate yeah. that she just falls into comedy. She's well. She Kate has like you can definitely see that see so much of her mom in there. But Kate is so much. She is an incredibly intelligent comic actor, and it takes somebody of that kind of intelligence to play to play a character this dumb and make it engaging and funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, you really, yeah, yeah. In our final seconds, we have will there be yeah. a three? Yeah, I'm starting to think of it right now. We have one more that we're gonna, at least one more we'll do with Netflix with these. And, and Daniel and I have said if we. And it's true. If we, as long as we can keep having fun doing them, as long as audiences, we keep shaking it up each time so we're never repeating ourselves, then we'll keep the party going. Though. Right in the bald bartender. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.